have, ooh, Pokemon Trainer versus Ness. Two characters that are, Pokemon Trainer has get, been getting a lot more attention. Ness, on the other hand, is a bit underrated, I'd say. Not as much attention on him, but if you've seen uh, the Texas locals, for example, you'll Austin. know there's Austin. Yes. He is phenomenal with this character. He's proved that this character has a lot of potential. That's so, kind of been a you know a thing with the Ness community, right? There's all these really just diehard, dedicated mainstays to the, computer, the to the character. No matter how good or how bad Ness is going to be, they're going to play Ness no matter what. It's just I don't know. It's, they, they like saw Ness was unlocked on Smash 64 and something spoke to their soul. They're going to play that character for sure. Yeah, it's similar to like, you know, the Luigi mains in this game. They're yeah. also very dedicated to their character, even with the nerfs and that the character is missing. But Nate, proving that Ness is a good character and taking that first stock with the up air. Yeah, Nate, that kid had nowhere to go. <laughs> he was Charizard and I saw the up air coming and I was, this is a bad situation overall. And he's already Ooh. off stage. Oh, that big dare. Very aggressive landing neutral right there. You saw that kid trying to get the wheels turning with the charge forward smash. And the standard Ness combo breaker with neutral air. But he's off stage. Oh Ooh, my god. Great dare. And I think looking at the tags, I think Nate is actually the Pokemon trader. And that kid is the Ness main. And that kid oh, just landed that PK Thunder too. <laughs> Good eye on that one. We gotta keep you on the on the commentary for, for that uh, <laughs> more often. I didn't even notice. I got the keen eye. It's because yeah, like, I'm so used to having to look at the tags when I'm running the stream yeah. and doing commentary, so I have to make sure that yeah, you, you, saw that, uh, you saw that up smash covering the entire ledge. Not yeah. really much that yeah, he could do at that point. That lingering hitbox on the up smash and down smash from this, it's just so good. It can keep people trapped at the ledge just by holding up or down on the C stick. Yeah, you just got to make sure you snap the ledge and then throw up the get up attack uh, in normal situations. But sometimes it just doesn't happen when you're trying to recover. It's it's just there. All right, Nate trying to land that fair into up air. A little late on his timing though. That kid able to air dodge out of it. Catches the air dodge downwards with a back air. See grab. He didn't get that confirm. I thought he'd get the follow up off the throw. Not quite there, but the up air's gonna put that kid in a precarious situation. Maybe a little passive went underneath the platform when he didn't really have to. You know, maybe a little scared from some of the combo breaking options that Ness kind of throws out you know in that neutral like the neutral air forward air something like that all right Nate trying to end it all with that down air but instead that kid lands that down smash and takes the first game yeah let's see if he's able to figure it out because that's another one of those situations if he threw out that get up attack because it's invincible all the way through the hitbox it probably would have countered it but he went for the standard get up and that lingering hitbox is it's just there if you stand up into it you're yeah. going to get hit by it no matter what. And I believe he's <laughs> able to hang it off of the ledge mm -hmm. as well if you're able to sort of position yourself properly, which yep. can be very volatile, especially at those higher presents when you have less ledge and vulnerability. Mm -hmm. A player could be caught off guard by that. They might forget, and so they could just get hit, caught in that yo-yo and just spun off stage. Right, and I think it also covers the uh, air dodge to the ledge option that is vulnerable for a few frames as well. So it kind of it's definitely an option limiter. It's not, a, it's not unbeatable per se, but it's definitely... Has niche has its uh, options that it limits, and definitely an option that I think the Nessus are going to continue to throw out in the metagame as it develops for sure. Oh, Nate trying to make a statement by also going in Ness. <laughs> we have a Ness ditto. We Any, just, anything you can do, I can do better. He's hoping. Uh, typically, it doesn't work out that way when you play someone that's a tried and true main. But you know, let's let's see what adjustments he's able to make, and maybe this is not just a, a secondary, but a co-main and. Maybe he'll find himself on even footing because it didn't go well. Oh my oh, god. No, I, I think that kid is the better Ness player here. Oh no. Is Nate going to be able to make it back? Oh, there's. No, he just doesn't even make it to, to the ledge and already losing his stock in the first 25 seconds. Yeah, that's an exclamation point to start out the match. He hit another Ness with a PK Thunder 2. That's like ripping the heart out in a oh, yeah. <laughs> super pride match uh, situation. That's that's the pride buster. Yeah, that, now that kid is making the statement like, you think you can just switch on me and take a game? No, I am the better Ness main here, and I'm going to prove that right here. And we just have these two kids roughhousing, throwing out these psychic abilities. <laughs> Where are their parents, man? <laughs> They shouldn't be trusted throwing out like flames and thunders. I think mean, Ness is all right. He can. He's he's old enough to manage himself. He's doing a, you know, he has all these magical powers. I, I I'd be I'd be comfortable leaving him. 
maybe not at home alone, but out on the streets by himself for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's kind of weird. You, like when you think about like as the Smash Bros as a league, it's kind of strange to have all these really young kids getting beaten up by like princes of darkness mm. and uh, Umbrin witches. It's a, it's a very interesting conflict there. I hope they don't hurt the kids too bad. <laughs> He's only a boy after all. Ness, uh, or Nate does not look like he has any uh, any answers to the onslaught coming through from that kid. And it's even more one-sided than the first game, unfortunately. Just uh, a neutral game outplay. That's kind of the first 50-50 neutral situation that he's won. Oh, wait. He clipped him with the PK Thunder. And he oh. doesn't grab the lead. So oh, where are so the magnet hands? Sakurai, where are yeah. you at? <laughs> you know, I just got flashbacks to Smash 4 when Void edgeguarded Foe and he thought he wouldn't make it back. And Foe got those magnet mm -hmm. hands and landed a back throw. Oh, Nate tried to get his arm, uh, get him back with the PK Thunder too. But that kid able to air dodge out of it. Yeah, Nate on his last breath here. Uh oh, that down smash will catch the PK Thunder. Another clean 2-0. I think every set we've had so far is just a clean 